it says Will Byers on my screen. Who the f is Will Byers? We're doing the watches from Stranger Things. What is Stranger Things? You've never seen it? Stranger Things. I've seen Strange Things. Like, Stranger Things. No, what is Stranger Things? It's a show on Netflix. It's like set in the 80s. You probably like it. It's pretty good. And who's Will Byers? Well, Will Byers is one of the people in the show. Yeah, he's one of the main characters. He's like a kid. What is Stranger Things about? It's like about monsters and stuff. Today, I'm reacting to the watches worn in the... Was this a movie, TV show, no, a TV, TV show? show. Yeah. Today I'm reacting to the TV show Watches in Stranger Things. Yes. So I'm reacting to the Watches worn in Stranger Things. Yes. And they're kids. Not all of them, but yes, a lot of them are, yes. And they all wear Rolexes and APs and Pateks and... Oh, you might be surprised when you get to the end. They're rich kids. They're 80s trust fund babies. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to buy or sell your watch, please go to brightandpinion.com now. Will Byers. Will buy your watch. Whoa, dude. That's the donation box. I know. I'll just use yours when I come back. I mean, if we still want to play. Yeah, but what if you want to join another party? Not possible. Are they hitting on each other or what's the story? That haircut. That's bad, mate. Have you ever seen The Little Lad? No, what is that? When I was a little lad, if I wanted berries and cream, mummy made me do the little lad dance. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. That hair is, that's not even 80s, mate. That's just a disgrace. <laughs> no, 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 no. All of a sudden I see a grand complication. F***ing in a repeater or something, whatever the f***. No, Sonic. I think that's Nintendo. Or it is like Sonic. What is Sonic? Sage? No? Sega. Sega or something. This is an actual game watch. So you play a f video game on your watch. This watch came out before my time. Like I'm 54. So but the funny bit is there were several game watches available. Not particularly that watch. But you could have bought a watch with Super Mario. And even Pac-Man and stuff. Like Mad. This was the 80s, man. G.I. Joe, Ghostbusters, Super Mario. There was also a Zelda game on this watch. That's class. This is ahead of its time, mate, 100%. You know what? Let's buy one. Shall we buy one of those? See if we can find one on eBay and see if we can give that away on the video. That would be class. And by the way, it was Nintendo. No Sonic Legends of Zelda not working. Now we need a working one. Ah, there it is. Shall I buy it? Bought it. Give me a good reason in the comments why you deserve this watch and you'll be in the chance to win this Nintendo game watch. And please do not reply to any comments that say that you've won something with my name on it. I will choose the winners with my verified Nico Leonard YouTube channel. So it has a tick. Any other comments or people that are pretending to be me is obviously a scam. Jim Hopper, police officer. He's like the father figure. <laughs> What kind of father is that? F me, mate. What a f legend. Daddy can fight. Daddy can fight. That would be me, like. His own. Jerry Scorpy. Yes, yeah, Casio 640WD. Got here. Got here. Let's give that away. Let's do that. Let's f do it. Making the watch world a better place, one watch at a time. Yeah, still in production. Yes, son! That's bought. Making watches accessible to the people. This video is one big f***ing giveaway, mate. Which watch do you want? You need to comment below and why you think you deserve it. Comment below. And like this video and subscribe. Otherwise, you're not f***ing getting nothing. I might give away some more watches. Depends what's coming. Dustin Henderson. I only know Dustin Hoffman. I'm Dustin. I'm Robin. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, is, is, is he here? Is who here? Henderson. <laughs> Henderson, he's back, he's back. Oh, look at that. It's hideous. Look at that. That's insane. Mate, is this not the most horrible thing you've ever seen in your life? Wow. I don't even know what the right side is up. Dismiss the steel, girl. This is just jokes, is it? I'm wearing a Jacob and Co, mate. Let me uh, go back to Henderson. I'm back. You got the job. You got the job. <laughs> You know what, the 80s were the best times. Because this is where you f***ing saw watches that you could play the radio from. Like, this is a radio watch. Unbelievable. You know that Armitron is, they're still producing watches? Like radio watches? No, 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 like oh. f***ing digital piece of sh They're trying to copy Casio, you know. I'm actually really impressed with Netflix because they have tried to find really cool watches, which you can find nowhere. You can't find this watch. Impossible. And I think it's also period correct because these watches saw daylight in the early 80s. That's f***ing class. Fair f***. She will not be able to resist these pearls. 
F91W, done. Done, I'm done. I just the same guy. Yeah. Google put the photo of an F91W up there, but the F91W was introduced in 1989. So that's not period correct. So it must have been the F87W, which was produced from 1982, which makes that watch again period correct. So these guys actually do their homework. Why the f do I all of a sudden sweat my bollocks off here? So the F87W is the predecessor of the F91W, the god tier Casio. Who's the, this Dustin, right? Dustin, yeah. All right, whose watch do you want to win? I'm going to give away an F91 as well. There's three watches this video. Comment now or like or watch the video 10 times. Steve Harrington. Back no, around. step back. No. Seriously. No. So if you die, I die. Okay. Hamilton, the Hamilton watch company is older than Rolex. Hamilton was started in 1892 in America and Rolex was founded in 1905. In the late 60s, Hamilton stopped production in America and moved it to Switzerland. Now Hamilton is more like a Swiss watch brand, you know? Personally, I think that Hamilton produces one of the best watches you can buy below a thousand dollars. Look at the Hamilton car key. You know that Lewis Hamilton tried to sue them for stealing his name? Stealing his name? Yes. Yeah, in 1886 or whatever. Exactly. It it's a joke and it's actually true. Jonathan Byers. So that's connected to your man? Yeah. All right. Will's brother. Yeah, Will's brother. Timex Indie Glow. I think they made a small mistake with this watch. If it, this is the Indie Glow, because I believe that the technology that Timex used to loom up that watch, because it's called the Indie Glow, so it's glow, starting in around the early 90s. So I just think they made a small mistake here. I could be wrong, but Timex is class like. It's nice watch for the money. You buy these for like 50, 60 quid or something. For, for the money, it can't go wrong, like. But I don't think it's period correct. Technology, the Indie Glow, where the dial glows up, it was introduced in the early 90s, for sure. Jonathan Byers is indeed a time traveler, yeah. Funny story about Timex, by the way. You know that they are older than Rolex as well. Timex is also an American watch company. The name Timex originates out of 1941, and it was actually an inspiration between two words. Time and Kleenex. Kleenex? I swear to God. I mean, that's what, the, that's what the myths say, but I believe that is incorrect. I actually believe it's based on something completely different, which I think we at a certain point can make a story about. Who's my Max Mayfield? She's a character that comes into play in season three. Oh, she's called Max. Swatch! During the quartz crisis, about 60% of the Swiss mechanical watchmakers went bust, all because of the introduction of the quartz movement. A quartz movement was a battery powered movement. It featured a battery and a crystal called the quartz. The quartz crystal gives a vibration or a frequency which allows a movement to tick. That's why it ticks. And that was a Japanese invention. As a response to the quartz crisis, Swatch introduced their watches. Swatch really stood out with their watches because they weren't very expensive and they were very, very fashionable. They were cheaper battery powered movement, but then made in Europe. Basically, watch collecting started with Swatch. And today the Swatch group is one of the most powerful players in the watch industry. Like Swatch is cool, mate. I love Swatch class, Winona Ryder. Who's so she playing? She plays Joyce Spires, so the mom of Will and Jonathan. Stranger Things is a show that over the course of like a week, 30 people said, you, have you seen the show? I was like, all right, I'll watch the show already. I said, yeah. please call Winona Ryder and ask her if she will be on our show. So Aww. thank you for coming. Uh, to be on our show. Thanks for having me. I mean, it was definitely overwhelming. I have a pretty good system. I d oh, she's wearing an OP. The coral colored Rolex Oyster Perpetual. That's class. Are you going to give it away? Yeah, yeah I'll give one away. Uh, There's a coral or red or whatever the f you call that. Oyster Perpetual. That's class. Rolex. That's a Rolex. She's making a dosh. Love that color. Like today's value of that watch sits between 13 and $15,000. Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> She's making the f dough. She's also getting properly advised here because I've never really seen a young girl wearing a f class watch like that. F fair play, well done. To be honest, it's really hard to see. I personally think it's a 15450, but it could also be the Royal Oak 67651 ST with the uh, diamond set bezel. Factory, by the way, this is all factory. But it's very, very tough to see. It's made out of stainless steel anyway, and the watch is f class. She has a really, really good future in the watch world, you know? I would say that that watch is valued between twenty and $30,000. Noah Snop. He plays Will Byers. Noah, lovely to meet you. Go f*** yourself. What are you actually wearing? You're wearing the summer purple Unico. Listen, Noah Snap, you're 17 years old. You have a bright future ahead of you. Don't do that to yourself. That's embarrassing. You're better than this.